planning. We're just planning the cooking segment. We're back today, food, Father's Day favorites. We've got Carson and his lovely wife, Syria, today food computer. Computer, contributor, and creator of she is though, I'm, with I'm all those recipes. Phone, you know, it's true. Robot. It's really true. She's also the creator of SeriouslyDelicious.com. Now you guys have put together a perfect menu. Yeah. Did yes, you this say is this is favorite. what I would like? I've or? been wrestling around my mind what I want to do for Father's Day. I'm a, I love meat, but I wanted to kind of like keep it, uh, like reel it in a little bit. Yeah. So it's kind of a take on a surf and turf, which I like. And we're going to start with this. This you want to start with the ingredients, but we're going to make lamb chops. Lamb I know, chops, and I love favorite things. How few ingredients there are. It's, I mean, it's very is simple. Like, olive oil. We're going to Use some herbs de Provence. We've got some lemon, some salt, and some pepper. We've got a nice French manicure chop here, which is a little fancy, but for the sake of Father's Day, it's, it's a great power move at a steakhouse. You sit at the bar, yeah. you can eat something healthy like mm -hmm. a fish, but you can get one lollipop lamb chop and yeah. it gives you that. So when you, you know, go to the butcher, bites. you ask for the French manicure? Um, yeah, you can. In this okay. case, we are for, in honor of Father's Day. And I'm helping you out with nice. the marinade right now. So it's the olive oil, the herbs de Provence, the yep. lemon juice, mm -hmm. and salt and pepper. Okay. And then if you want to marinate yep. them, bingo. Yep. What I like to do is take the chops out if you have them in the refrigerator. You take them out, let them get to room temperature. Mm -hmm. uh, and then. Don't you need to whisk that up. Yeah, we'll whisk this. Okay, this is very easy. Our children love this. They love to gnaw on the bones like little mini cavemen. Oh, it's cute. Yes, they are. Um, it's kind of Flintstone-y. It's good it for, is, for guys. It is, yes. And I actually wrap oh. this in a napkin, and there, there they go. are. That's yeah. them <laughs> eating the lollipops right there. So cute. Oh, I miss them. Actually, right. something that they eat. And then these go on a medium-high grill, right? That's right, for yeah. And they don't think they're for that long. I mean, I like to do it for at least a half an hour, but, uh, yeah, get them on the grill. Really, a half hour? Yeah, sure. The more that olive oil can get in there is, is great. Okay. But then they cook no time at all. No, it's like three minutes aside. They want to serve these things medium rare. Again, they're only like three or four bites, so you're not, you know, that's that's why you got the fish coming right behind Let me check in with the cooks downstairs. How's it taste? Let me tell you something. Mm. Yeah. These are great. We okay. played golf Sunday. Siri brought these to the golf course. These I little did, right? Lamb yeah. Yeah. It helped my really? golf game. Wow. I distracted everyone from how badly I played. I love they're it. good, though. So, so now we're going to do some grilled swordfish yeah. with some crispy capers. Again, a very simple ingredient grid. Um, the marinade is garlic, fresh oregano, salt, and pepper. And we thought about doing this about like this swordfish on a skewer, but you know, fish on skewers are, oh. really, are a little bit difficult. So we he opted to go more for like a, a chop here to give that surf and turf. So why don't you marinate that, yep. and I'm going to get onto the crispy capers, which is one of my favorite things. But a things. swordfish is kind of a steaky fish. Like it feels substantial. It, 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 is. it is. It's a robust. But yet fish. it's still yes. light and summery and perfect. And this is just some olive oil, and we're going to put these capers in. And by the way, this is the most pop. underrated food thing in a long time. These crispy capers are delicious. They're so good, and you can put them on pastas or vegetables, and they get nice and salty and crispy. I mean, honestly, just fried. Oh, they're so good. Yeah. And the swordfish is going to go on a grill for, again, about four to five minutes per mm -hmm. side. Yeah, it, may, it might be a hair longer, but just about that, about five yeah, minutes a side. Yeah, depending on the thickness. Pretty, yeah, depends I'm on the I'm in love with those capers. Okay, and then the dessert. Carson's favorite dessert. I do love that, you know, my Banana mom's pudding. from the South, so it's a long family recipe. This is recipe. Mom Patty's recipe. Yes, I like how you, you put, put it in the, the little jar. jar. That's serious yes, touch yes. there. We use these little... Uh, Vanilla wafers, know, they're, they're right within in? the pudding. It's delicious. You That's like it, guys? Breakfast. I love the banana pudding. I really yeah. love it. And yeah. a little present for your office. Oh, thank you. I love it. Thank you very much. Did you just Aww. make this? Aww. I did. I, I did. Don't I worry, Daddy. Late. We wake up early, too. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Happy <laughs> Father's Day. I love so you, kids. Cute. So cute. For all these Thanks, recipes Danielle. of our Father's Day favorites Thank that we've done this week, go to today.com slash food. Coming up next. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.